Hey guys, Bad Film Critic here again, and today I'm going to be talking about Hubie Halloween. And for those of you who don't know, that is the new Adam Sandler Halloween comedy on Netflix. And I figured that this, would come, this was coming at a perfect time. I said that I was going to make every October video about horror, <clears throat> even though this was definitely not a horror. But it still has, a, it's got Halloween in the name, so I had to watch it. And I know that I drilled into comedy and I drilled into Adam Sandler a couple videos ago. And I even mentioned this movie coming out. I com <clears throat> I knew it was coming out, but I completely forgot about it, as I do every Adam Sandler movie, unless it's Uncut Gems. Anyways, <clears throat> I don't even know where to begin with this movie. It was directed by Stephen Brill, and he's made other shitty movies from the Madison, Happy Madison Productions, like Little Nicky and just a bunch of Juliet Taylor, like a bunch of stupid, funny movies that I that I despise. And um, I don't know. I, I don't even know where to start with this movie. I definitely didn't like it. However, I definitely didn't hate it. Okay, I, I, not definitely. I didn't hate it, though. I guess I'll come to that conclusion. I didn't hate it. <clears throat> Wasn't a good movie, though. I won't be watching it again. I didn't like it. But I went in with so much disdain and so much hatred, and I was expecting to just just hate the movie so i really don't know where to start with this movie because it's kind of just a clusterfuck but um this movie showcases hubie dubois who's played by adam sandler and he's living in a town of salem massachusetts a small town on halloween night and he's the self-proclaimed um, security guard of the city and he ensures the safety of everybody but he's uh, just overwhelmingly stupid and um so that's his character just like every adam sandler movie so surprise um nobody likes him everybody always makes fun of him and um th that's and so it's halloween and he and he wants to provide safety for everyone uh even though everybody's making fun of him and that that was it and this movie kind of um is about like a murder not necessarily murder but like a a mystery and they're trying to find the bad guy on Halloween because a local, um, somebody broke out of a mental asylum. And, like, nobody knows that except the audience. So it's like it defeats the purpose. But, <clears throat> I, I, guys, I don't even know where to There's so much. This is what kind of, like, ruined the movie is there's so much side plots going on. There's, like, 20 going on at once. There's secondary characters and uh, love plots that... Uh, hold no relevancy and hold no weight. They don't mean anything. They don't even come to a conclusion, like at the end. They don't uh, contribute to the main plot. There's uh, pee and fart and poop jokes, and it's so it's like it's honestly it's kind of it's kind of egregious. He's like overwhelmingly stupid. Like not even in the first five minutes of the film, there was like a scene where he was riding his bike and he was drinking soup, and you know. He said, Adam Sandler said something stupid and CGI vomit just all over, like a, a just projectile vomit right on the floor, like not even in the first five minutes of the film. So that's like when you know, like, OK, well, this is just going to be a stupid Adam Sandler movie. However, it <clears throat> it wasn't as bad as like his some movies like Jack and Jill. Like we all know that that movie was like so bad. So it's not that bad. But man, what was it just I'm just not a fan. I, I came into this video. I don't write scripts for these for these reviews. I just talk, and I came into here not wanting to drill into him, cause it. But man, he makes it so hard, cause he he's a talented actor, and he he can when he wants to be, but it's just like he doesn't want to be, and he wants to be this, just kind of like bumbling bozo who just doesn't know how to act and just says dumb fart and pee jokes. That's literally the movie. Like I'm not even kidding. Like number well, the number one rule of comedy. All right, this rule trumps everything else in a comedy, and that is to make you laugh. And it, it barely did that. There's so many side plots. Just just to summarize the thing, it's on Halloween night, and Hubie wants to protect every citizen, and he's getting made fun of, and so it makes it hard. And there's like kind of like a murderer on the loose, and 20 other side plots that you have to keep on, and you don't know which one is necessarily the main plot, which one to follow. I guess the movie has a good message about bullying at the end. But uh, other than that... <clears throat> I found it. I found it egregious and overwhelmingly, um, just it was shockingly bad of how the characters were and just they were just it was just overwhelming how stupid they're being. Like you can't take it serious. But anyways, 
that's it. I don't have much to say about it. I really didn't even want to watch this movie, but I turned it on last night and I watched it. So that's it. Um, you guys go check it out. It's on Netflix. Um, just know what you're getting yourself into. It's really not that fun, but know what you're getting yourself into, guys. So that's that's about it. So see ya.